Hey, guess who can't reach me now, huh? <laughs> oh, you can. That's cheating. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I am the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare series. And uh, it is Horde 42. And as I showed you at the beginning of this episode, um, I did find a way through the mountains. I don't know if that's the best way through, but it was a way through. Um, so basically, what I did was I got... Let's see, where were we? Um, there, there's no way through here. There's no highways at all on the uh, on the east or north side of the city where we are where we're going to move to um so i kind of followed along through here and then i got off the bike and i hiked across the mountains and i found these pois with these roads and so what i ended up doing is just tunneling you know through here and i had to do a smaller tunnel through here uh, to get through and then after that you know we just uh, i didn't actually go across the wasteland right here but i could have also gone up around that way uh, to get through so that's uh that'll probably be our route for the moment but i don't know that it'll be our permanent route it might be also worth investigating to see if there's a, some kind of a route from here through to this city here um you know for a, a, a longer term thing plus that would give us better access to trader gen too so we'll figure that out later but uh, i needed to get back of course and get ready for the horde night one of the things that I did was I, cre I built another workbench so I could double up on getting pipe bombs made. Uh, but I already have uh, like eight, seven, eight stacks or so in my inventory um, even now. And because we're pretty much going to use pipe bombs, that's going to be our main weapon for the entire horde night. Now, one thing I thought about is that we did learn electric fence traps and all that stuff. Oh, shit. I don't know the generator bank, though. Hmm, that's interesting that they would give me electric fence traps, but they wouldn't 
but they don't give you the generator. Um, those are super easy to make. What I was thinking is maybe we could put some traps down so there's a wire going across there to stun the Zeeks as they come up. Okay, where's her, where's her partner? There's usually two of them. Eh, maybe not this time. Okay. Um, we could... We could do that if... Rectipoo happens to have a generator. Let's go run over there real quick and see. Do I got my money in here? I think I do. Yeah. He has a generator. We could do that, because uh, I have plenty of engines. Don't think I have enough battery banks to make it work with a battery bank, but if we can we can buy a Jenny from him, we can do that. If I, I don't we don't need to do that. It'll enhance the, the base, but I think it's gonna be fine even without it. But let's take a look and just see if he has that. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I'm just making the pipe bombs and we are pretty much ready to, to rock and roll for the horde night. I'm expecting this horde night to uh, go well. It has gone well. Um, ever since we, you know, made this base and I've improved it each time. And it is even more improved now than it was last time. Uh, do we have Atom Junkies? We don't. God damn it, Wrecked. You have everything but what I need. Hey, jackass. You're the Can jackass. Let's get this over with. Okay, shit. He doesn't have a generator. Okay, well, it was worth a try. <laughs> well, what do you have, by the way? We'll just take a quick look see at his stuff. I do need one more um, tarp. And by the way, you guys have maybe already mentioned this in the comments, but I'm like, I'm, I'm quite a ways ahead of you guys on the recordings just because I am. I'm really enjoying the game and I keep playing it. But I did find out what the tarp does. It doesn't speed up the water production, but it allows you to get more. Uh, so with a tarp in there, you actually can have two stacks, uh, two per stack instead of one. So that's what the tarp does. But it doesn't look like he has another one of those. Um, I think I think that's all the stuff I sold him. So yeah, he's you cheap son of a he, bitch. <laughs> he hasn't uh, he hasn't actually reset since we were last here. Seems like he'd be gone for a while, but it's only been a few days. So okay, well we can we'll be fine, you know, without um the electric fence. We don't we certainly don't need it. Like I said, it would it would enhance things, but yeah, I don't I don't think it's necessary. And, you know, we're not, we're still not at game stage 150, which is what I understand anyways, unless I'm wrong about that. Uh, we don't get uh, demolishers until we're at stage 150. So I don't think we have to worry about them tonight. They're really the only thing that would worry me anyways. Um, everybody else is just not, not a big deal. Okay, so let's run up here. And uh, we've got, we already have plenty of pipe bombs, I think, for, for the night. See, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 232 at the moment. Um, I'm wondering if I should stop the pipe bombs and use the rest of the gunpowder to make some more shotgun shells. Why don't we do that in this one? Yeah, why don't we do that in this one? So we'll put the this stuff back in here. And let's grab... Uh, oh, shit, I don't have any paper. All right, well, I guess that's not going to work. Uh, we could make more... Let's make some more armor piercing 762. That's what we'll do. And we can now make the box stuff, too. I, I kind of pew, pew, you know, poo pooed at that, but it's actually not, it's not a bad thing really because of the fact that it can save you inventory space if you're going to carry a whole bunch of ammo. There's other things I would have preferred to have, but yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, why don't we just make that many because we are using them in our sniper rifle. 
And if we have enough of them, I might even put them in the M60 just for those oh shit moments, which happen to me all of the time. Otherwise, I pretty much have everything I think we need in our inventory. Let's put these back in the bike. Uh, this money. We got all of our meds. We got our repairing stuff. I might go... I might go mine up a little bit of nitrate because I've got quite a bit of coal. Yeah, like two stacks of coal, but I don't have hardly any nitrate. Uh, just so we can make some more gunpowder. Because I, there isn't really anything else for me to do. Oh, you know what? We do have a point. And we're going to put that into Boomstick. Because we're going to now focus on strength for a while. Shotgun Pro. So 30% more damage. 30% faster fire rate. 20% faster reload. And stun enemies for 8 seconds. Nice. Uh, so we're going to build up Boomstick. We're going to build up Skull Crusher. We're going to build up Heavy Armor. And 69er and... Probably put a point or two into mother load as well as we as we continue with strength here. Yeah, so when I got back, um, this was, the, you know, each one of these slots had one water, but these guys had two, as you can see here, because of the tarp. So that's cool um, to know that that's what the tarp actually does. Uh, let's... Uh Build up a little more water here. And we'll put most of you in here. And we're in pretty good shape on food and water. I was very hungry and thirsty by the time I made it back. But uh, we got through it and everything was good. Right, let's grab a little more steel, grab a little more of you, and make a little more of you. Okay, guys. Well, I, I don't think I'm going to go after nitrate. It, it's getting it's getting pretty close. So I think I'm just going to cut the camera here. I'll meet you guys up in the horde base when the horde night starts, and we'll kick the shit out of the horde again, and hopefully get a couple more levels. We're just barely started into the next level. So if we can get two levels out of tonight, that'll be great. So I'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, guys. Here we go. Horde 42, and here they come. This should be, this should be a good night, as long as we don't get uh, dem demolishers. Start off with some shotgun work here. Hey, guess who can't reach me now, huh? <laughs> oh, you can. That's cheating. Sending the buzzers after me, man. Hey. Can we talk about this is not allowed? Guess I better stand back a little bit. got at me from the side. Alright, let's light these bitches up.
a good one. Take a bandage. <laughs> oh, we got a cop explosion. I go through? Yeah, I went through. Oh, nice one. Ah, I love that. How, it's, how, how the bombs set off the Molotovs if you, you know, if you drop them without lighting them up first. Got a double there. Another double. Copper blew him up. Hey, when that happens, man, it steals my XP. Not to mention damages the base like a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, that's amazing. Trying to time it so I can get doubles here. Maximum damage. Let's take another bandage here. Yes.
Miss Copper. So I put one on both sides, they'll set each other off. Well, I gotta get them in the right spot. Oh yeah, that works great. So put one there. I wonder if I could, uh, what if I just set one there and then ignite this one? Oh yeah. That way I can control the timing of it a little bit better. <laughs> Your fucking cop blew up right before I, my bomb blew him up. Checked uh, these. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> needs a little attention. Been too busy having fun blowing these assholes up. Okay, I think we're good. Shit, that hurt. There we go. I got an next skill point. All right, guys. Well, um, I expect the rest of the night to go much the same. Um, let's put that skill point into. Let's see. We're doing strength. We'll put it into skull crusher. And um, I'm just gonna time lapse the rest of the horde night. Enjoy the music, and I'll see you guys in the morning.
right, guys. I think we've killed the horde again. Before the horde night was over. Uh, I still hear some combat music. Uh, I'm not sure where that's co- Oh, shit! <laughs> that's not quite what I meant to do. Um, that's a deer. I think there might still be a Zeke or something in the house, but let's go ahead and start grabbing these bags. We'll, as usual, we'll just loot now, and then we'll... Look at it all later. In fact, um, here, let's just do that. Get the blue ones first. Yeah, we got some horde zombies somewhere. And I want to get all these bags before they despawn. Okay, so that takes care of all the bags. Make sure we have um, that stuff. And then let's see if we can find where the rest of these guys are. I hear some banging over here. Right here. I think we're done. Horde, horde music's over. All right. So we basically annihilated these motherfuckers by about 2.30, 2.45. And we're missing two ladders. But uh, the base is in, like, pristine condition overall. So there you have it. Oh, wow. Cool. All right. Let's, um, let's actually eat something. And we'll... Drink a couple yuccas. And I'm going to run back and grab our nerd chess piece and our bike. And we'll come back and read the magazines and see where we end up. Okay, let's read first. Wooden bow quality four, nice. We gotta be getting close to the crucible by now. Knuckle wraps quality six. We have the grave digger schematic. Handguns. Repair tools, nail gun quality four, nice. Insulated liner mod schematic. Rifles, we can do lever action quality two. We have seven scrapping magazines. Will this get us to the impact driver? Let's see. It does. <laughs> nice. Oh, impact driver two. Wow. That's amazing, you guys. I still, I know I say this every time, but it's the, it's the God's honest truth. I made that orange ratchet, and I have not used it a single time. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we got five shoddy magazines. Pump shotgun quality one, okay. Uh, two tacticals. Nothing there. We can do quality five steel tools, very nice. Vehicles. And we have the wood splitter mod schematic. Here we have lucky looter one, uh, find more brass and loot. And nice. Okay, this is a, I know this one's a good one. So if we go to here. Enemies have a higher chance to drop loot bags. That's amazing. Okay, we also have Shock Messiah 2, uh, Breach. Okay, Breach Ammo. Never really found that useful. I mean, it is useful, but I, I've just never needed to use it. Um, sledgehammers. And Harvest Lead and Brass from Sinks and Plumbing. Okay, I was hoping that would be the Mineral Water one, but we still have not found that one yet. Got ourselves a double pocket mud out of the deal. Okay, as far as the loot goes, um, I mean, five steel tool parts is amazing now that we can make level five tools, steel tools. I'm thinking, though, it might be worth it to make a legendary uh, level six steel pick. So we might hold off a little bit longer on that. We got some motor tool parts, one legendary... 
and a yellow double barrel. So, yeah, we got useful stuff. We didn't, we didn't get anything that's absolutely amazing, but we certainly got useful stuff. And all those magazines were nice, too. Especially now that we can, um, you know, make the impact driver. Oh, that's amazing. And level two impact driver at that, right? Okay, so I'm going to get all this stuff um, back to the base and put away. And then we need to... Uh, I, I, well, I need to figure out what we're going to... How we're going to handle this move. Um, we, we are going to move, okay? That's what we're going to do. It's just a matter of how we're going to do it. Probably what we'll do is we'll... I might pick up all of our workstations here. Well, no. First of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna repair that horde base because there's an absolutely no guarantee at all that we'll have another horde base ready, you know, by uh, day 49. We probably won't because we'll be working on getting our our permanent base set up. So I want that to be repaired and ready to go, and we can just use it again. Uh, what is our game stage now? 120. Okay, so as long as we stay under 150, and we still might be under 150 by the next horde night. Um, you know, we, sh we could still possibly get away with not having demolishers because, uh, you know, with no demolishers, that base is, as long as you stay on top of the repairs, that base is pretty much invincible. <laughs> it's just, it's so amazing. Um, so, okay. Yeah. Let me get stuff situated. I'll bring you guys back, um, here in a little bit, uh, with the plan for what we're going to do next. All right, guys, I'm back, and um, I got the horde base completely repaired. I'll fix back up and ready to go for the next horde night. And I'm just um, smelting some more iron so we can replenish our steel. And also uh, making more concrete mix. Because uh, it, there's a very high probability that we will do the next horde night here, too. So I just want to make sure I have plenty of... Materials for um, repairing. We're actually fine on concrete, but uh, I'm making a little bit more. But we're pretty low on the steel, as you can see here. But I think what I'm going to do is... Um, the, you know, the route that I, I cut through the mountains, which was over... Here, uh, where? Here. Yeah, here. Uh, that's still not really in an ideal location for getting down to you know our new town I'd really like to see if I can find a path through here you know so um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to, to Trader Jin and actually go into the uh, burnt biome to the western end of this town and see if I can find another pathway you know coming through uh, to here now there's no roads here of course so we are gonna have to do you know carve a bit of a of a road one way or the other but if I can find a reasonably short pass you know through those mountains I think I would like to take the time to do that and if it just doesn't work out well then you know we'll we'll use the the path that I already cut to start moving down um, so I think that's the plan now we do have a couple of um, oh it's airdrop time I can't even see where it's at. Ouch. There it is. Okay. Yeah, let's run over and grab this. We came to this POI a long time ago, right when we first started, you know, first couple episodes. All right. It's got to be right around in here, I would think. I'm not seeing any orange smoke. Oh, there it is. Okay. Don't touch that crate. Okay. Are we thirsty? Yeah, we're a little thirsty. And we're actually a little hungry, too, so let's eat a cup of cornbread. And then we'll see what we got in here. Okay. Well, actually, uh, I'll read those when I get back to the base so I can put my um, nerdy uh, chess piece on first. Okay. 
Anyway, um, what I was about ready to do before the airdrop showed up is uh, we have a couple challenges. So we got uh, farming yucca and then uh, kill tourist zombies. Tourist zombies are Hawaii Five O's, by the way. Um, so let's redeem that and then we'll stop back by Rex and get our reward on the way home. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness, this is some good stuff. Um, the quad pocket mod or the night vision mod. The treasure hunter mod would be nice, but I don't do treasure often enough, I think. I already have a, the stealth and the water purifier. Um, the night vision mod is would be nice if if we at some point decide to go, you know, respect to a stealth build. But you know, I see these fairly often, so we can, you know, we can buy one if we decide to do that. So I think I'm going to get the quad pocket mod because I have not seen that at all, uh, with any of the traders. There we go. Okay. My shop, my room. I don't remember you when you reset. You fuck off. You. Fuck off. Great Heist Volume 3. Find more dukes and cash and safes. Yeah, okay. I'd be more interested in getting it to get to the end of Great Heist. I'd be interested maybe in the vehicle magazines. Uh, we need another tarp, too. I didn't... Uh, you cheap son of a bitch. You cheap son of a bitch. I didn't bring my coin in. I don't have my enforcer glasses either, but that's all right. Do you at least have a sugar butts? Oop. Don't even have that. Look quick, buy quicker, piss off fastest. Piss off fastest. Okay, let's buy three of those. Uh, I'm not going to buy those because we find those easily enough. I'd be interested in the tactical warfare, except for we have this. The second one level below the absolute best automatic weapon in the game. So I don't think I'm going to worry about those anymore. We'll just let them come naturally. Um, I do want to eventually get into the auto shotgun. So why don't we buy a couple of those? I, and I want the tarp. All right. Let's just see anything else that he has we might be interested in. Got an impact driver, but I think I can make that now, right? Yeah, I believe we can make that. Got a robotic turret. Oh. A generator. I wasn't looking for a generator specifically. Do you have one? You don't. Okay. I'll bet you Bob would have one. A sale is a sale. Let's see where we Even are with the great heist. Like you. Uh, here we go. Yeah, we're quite a ways away from that. Uh, but this one's really good for lock picks. Okay. Um. Take let's buy look, it. Buy some shit. Get the hell out. I think we'll buy it. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. Shit, man. I treat you that good, and you don't even fucking tip me. Okay, let's run back to the base, get our nerdy chess piece on, and we'll read those magazines. And then we'll put this quad pocket mod in place. Um, actually, can I do that right now? I, I found the... These? I think I found these in a cop car. Yeah. And here's the cool thing, and I mentioned this before, um, and you guys mentioned it to me in the comments, actually. You can put more than one pocket mod on as long as it's a different type. So we can add that to there and look at all the slots that just opened up. We're only three slots away from full unencumbrance. That is a beautiful thing. And see, I didn't even take a single point in pack mule either. That's why I don't take points in pack mule. Though, arguably, it probably isn't a bad idea to take some points in pack mule in the very early game and then respec later, but yeah, we've done fine. I need to repair my spikes too. I had a, a screamer horde come in earlier. Okay, so let's grab you. Then we'll read. Okay, so we can do a pump quality too. 
And I think we're eight or nine away now from being able to make the motorcycle. So uh, we're, oh, we're only seven away. So yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop by the traders and if they have vehicle books, I'm just going to buy them and we can, we can buy our way to the motorcycle because it would be nice actually to have the motorcycle before we do the move, right? For obvious reasons. Okay. I think you're the only one, other one that needs, a, you're the one that needs the other tarp. Okay. Cool. So we got that done. Uh, no, wear that. Put this away. Okay, I want to bring my mining gear with me. Um, because uh, if we do, you know, if we do end up having to do some digging, right? Okay, we're pretty good on food. Let's just top off with these cornbreads. Um, or you know what we could do is we can make a chili dog. Yeah. Let's make a chili dog. You guys have any water in you? You do. Should have made a chili dog with those other pieces too. Didn't think about it until too late, but it's all right. I mean, it's not like I can't make cornbread. I can make tons of cornbread if I want to. I just haven't done it yet. So, yeah, we're going to bring... Um, coffee with us. We're going to bring some hobo stew and nine things of red tea. Because um, I did run out of food. Well, I didn't run out, but I got really low on food and water when I was working my way back here. But we'll be a little bit better prepared. And of course, you know, if we end up being out at night, which we probably will be, I'm bringing a little extra ammo too, because uh, as I showed you in that opening montage... Uh, we got attacked a lot because, you know, it was nighttime and they're feral. So, uh, feral sense is on, rather, at night. Uh, why don't we bring an extra stack of bandages, too? Okay. We're not even really that hungry, so I think I'll, I'll save that. Uh, you're doing water. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, let's head on uh, out. Actually, hold on. Let me make sure the forge is completely packed with stuff. And let's see. We better give you a little more wood, too. That's probably a little more than it needs. So, yeah, we'll go with that. And that should give us plenty of steel for the next Horde Knight for repair work. I think we're ready to go. All right. Um, what time is it? 1511? I, you know what? I think I left my enforcer glasses back at our, our new desert town, now that I think about it. So... But, you know, those magazines aren't that expensive, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're, we're going to have tons of money when it's all said and done. So we're going to stop off at Wrecked, the other Wrecked, on the way down here. We're going to stop off at Jin's. And I might even roll over to Joel, you know, the Joel that's on the eastern end of the wasteland, because he's not that far off the beaten path. And check all three of them for vehicle magazines. All right, guys, we're at Joel's, and I uh, missed this military chest at this Joel and the other Joel. So we have to, next time we go to the other Joel, I have to remember. But it's basically up in this little lookout tower thingy here. Let's see if he's got any vehicle magazines. Your armor looks a little beat up, my friend. You're in luck because I've got the goods. He doesn't. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Okay. We're going to head south and then cut on over uh, to Wrecked. Uh, right here is 
where we get off the road and then we go straight down to this wreck here. Hey, butthead. What's your problem? You're my problem. Make up your mind or make your way out. You have one. Okay. Well, one's better than none, right? Uh, I think that's all we're going to get. You cheap-ass son of a bitch. I just bought a that's book from you, fucker. Buy. Oh, you know what? I should, damn it. I should have brought my nerd. Oh, jeez. That could have got us some extra points. All right, let's see. We are going to cut south and head over to Trader Gen. Hello, Jennifer. Well, hello. Hello. Have a look around and let me know if you need anything. I need some vehicle books. Top tier treatments ready. Uh, which you don't have, unfortunately. Ooh, you do have. Okay, you got a supercharger. Let's buy that. I'd actually prefer the fuel saver in the fuel reserve tank, but she doesn't have those. All right, let's just take a quick look at what else she might have. Yeah, okay. She's got a nicer iron crossbow, but I'm not inclined to spend that much money on something like that because we're probably going to find it in loot at some point. All right, we're going to head over across the mountain here and kind of do a little bit of a survey of the land. I thought about, you know, bringing a few more things with me, but the thing is, is I don't know if we're going to be able to get, you know, if we're going to be able to cross over here and I don't want to have a bunch of extra gear uh, and be, you know, have to essentially go all the way back around the other way. So that's why I'm still traveling pretty light at the moment. But what we want to do is we want to get to the western end of this town. And then we will um, see... We might have to... I'm going to be careful here because zombies will spawn. Uh, we've already broken into this car, so it should just be openable. Okay. Uh, grab that stuff. Um, you know, we might have to hike up the mountain and survey it and just see, is it a, you know, relatively narrow mountain range or is it a really long, wide thing, you know? So. That, yeah, that treasure is right where Trader Bob, I mean, it's almost exactly right where Trader Bob is. So we can just use that as our point of reference. It might, you know, it might be a, just a real narrow mountain range and be pretty easy to burrow through. And I'm doing this not, you know, not only for a little more direct pass passage to our new t town, but also, damn. Um, so we we have quick access, or well, relatively quick access to Trader Gen too. I really like the random gin towns in this game. I, I just wish that they had more of a traditional grid, you know, or at least one main street that goes all the way through northwest and, you know, and uh, or east, west and north and north and south. That would be nice. All right. So we're probably at the end of the road here. not be in pursuit are we okay let's take a look at the map yeah pretty much this is going to be the the most direct line coming this way um so let's go off road and head towards the treasure and it looks like it's reasonably flat all the way to the base of the mountains going through here At least this isn't Wasteland. Wasteland's a little trickier to go across country. Though, it's not as bad as it used to be. But it's still kind of nasty, you know?
And we could actually make a road through here. By make a road, I mean just clear a path. I don't mean like actually build a paved road. Although, I mean, we could do that too, but that'd be a hell of a lot of work. Oh, there's a highway here. Interesting. Okay, well, this highway does not... Oh, another Trader Gin. Look at that. Nice. All right, let's go in and see if she's got any... Uh, motor books, uh, engine, vehicle, yeah, vehicle, <laughs> books. Well, hello again, Jennifer. There's something different. I'm sure I have something you'll need. No, she's got the double pocket schematic, but I don't think I want to buy that. I'd buy the triple if I came across it. Um, all right, so she doesn't have that either. Let's take a look at her other stuff. Oh, that, oh God, look how expensive that thing is. Oh man. Now nah, we'll wait until we come across that in loot. Lordy, that's expensive. She does have a nerd outfit, but that's three grand. I'm not going to spend three grand on that. Uh, okay. What about tools? Steel impact? Yeah. Maybe next time I'll Ma have what you need. Maybe next time. And I'll come back and rob you. I mean, um, borrow your stuff and sell it to you later. I want to get, uh, this survey underway before it gets completely net. Okay, I just want to see where this road goes, or does it just end up here? Um, because we're not, I mean, we're just right across the mountain from home. And it's awesome that there's another trader chin here, too. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so it just kind of curves up this way. I wonder where that would go. Probably not where we would need it to go. Uh, maybe this road highway eventually runs into that one, I'm wondering. Okay, so we're we're too far north because these mountains, as you can see, wrap around here. So now this is all just mountainous in here. Our crossing would probably actually be best right about at that point in terms of the narrowest spot, I'm thinking. It might be worth it to go up that mountain road and just kind of see what it does. before we start digging, you know. The other bad thing about coming this far north is we're also up higher now, too. And ideally, we want to be as close to the same level as the other side as we can be. We could potentially luck out with this mountain road and have it, um, you know, curve to the west and get us even closer, but not sure. We'll just pop up there and take a look-see. It's a steep mofo. Glad I'm not on the bicycle. Oh, we're not... We're not going like, to, like, get into it, an irradiated zone, are we? Oh, nice. Okay, so it is turning the right direction. For the moment, anyway. This is good. This is really good. I'm 
only problem is we are <laughs> we're up really high. But, okay, it looks like it ends up there. Okay, let's hop off and take a look for a second. But, I mean, I could... I could build a road or a ramp down from here. Hmm. I I don't know if hmm. I don't know if if in the long run though. That's going to be better than just simply digging a tunnel through. It's going to be a fairly long ass tunnel, but. It's certainly doable. And I think, I don't think we would want to maybe dig here because we got all of that rugged terrain we'd have to also go through. Uh, but we have a little, a little bit of a valley here, so we'd almost want to, if, if we do end up digging a tunnel, we'd almost want to come out more. Well. That's still a long ways. Okay. Let's uh let's go up to the end of the road and just look up there. So it just ends at this camp here. Dude, seriously. Okay, so it's not crazy steep right here. I mean, getting down wouldn't be a problem, but getting back up this way would be interesting. The problem with this game, as you guys probably know, is that <clears throat> you can't really build... A, a, an inclined road uh, I, and unless you use blocks and you can do it with blocks of course but uh, hmm I mean I could get up this it would just it take a bit but it would be doable this tree would probably be in the way This part here would be super steep coming up. The thing about the mini bike is, you know, it can it can climb up a very steep cliff. It just it'll eventually get up. It just takes it a long time, is all. All right, why don't we why don't we go down this way? Hey, knock it off. A little rough coming down through here. Yeah, I'm... I, I, I'm not a fan of that mountain road idea. It was a good idea, but it's just too high up. But, what if we... See, there's our red marker right there. Let's leave the bike here. And just survey this real quick. Uh, it's almost nighttime. The thing about being in the burnt biome at night is dire wolves, which isn't fun. Um, but we could maybe cut a road th through here. Where are you? Oh. Oh. 
Okay, so... Um, well, we're, we're going too far north here, I think. Let's just walk up there anyway. And fuck the dire wolves. I've got my M60. They don't want to mess with me. It'll be the last thing they do. So it wouldn't be hard to, you know, cut a road through here, of course. And that's only 300 meters. That's not that far. And this... Uh, hillside here is not super steep. What's up on the other side of the ridge, though? Yeah, there's, there's some pretty serious mountains through here. It's certainly doable. It's just going to be a lot of work is all. Oh, by the way, don't remember if I mentioned this to you guys, but there are mountain lions in the desert now. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Hmm. Well, okay. I'm going to have to think about this. We either build an enormously long tunnel, which is simple and easy, just time consuming. Or we take advantage of that mountain road and... Uh, Okay, here they come. Uh, that mountain road and building, you know, a big ramp up there with blocks because we can't do it with dirt. It's not going to work. Uh, at least I don't know how to make that work. Did we... Oh, speaking of mountain lion, there's one right there. Yeah, let's not tangle with him. I'm sure I could take it out, but these guys are mean and tough. So anyway, I'm going to give this some thought, and you guys will know what my decision is in the next episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.